In this unit, we're going to discuss carbohydrates, one of the three major macronutrients. Carbohydrates are in a lot of common foods. Some major sources of carbohydrates in the Western diet are vegetables and fruits, grains, milk, and maybe somewhat less optimally, sugar-sweetened beverages and juices. Carbohydrates are the major energy source for most cultures. The acceptable macronutrient distribution range, which defines what the ideal macronutrient intake is for each of the three macronutrients, recommends that we eat between 45 and 65% of our total calories in the form of carbohydrates. That corresponds to somewhere between 225 and 325 grams per day for 2000 calorie intake. Survey data suggests that 47% of the total American diet in terms of calories comes in forms of carbohydrates. Now, carbohydrates can be controversial. In fact, recent surveys suggest that 16% of people are on a carbohydrate-reduced diet, often to either reduce their body weight or to improve their glycemic control. The smallest unit of a carbohydrate is called a monosaccharide. A monosaccharide can be linked to another monosaccharide by a specific bond called a glycosidic linkage. This forms a disaccharide, which includes things like sucrose and lactose. These can be further extended to form trisaccharides, oligosaccharides, or polysaccharides, which could contain many thousands of units of the monosaccharide. Another way to think about a carbohydrate is whether it is in a refined or unrefined state. In the image on the top right, you can see a whole grain, whereas in the image on the bottom right, you can see a sugar cube. Often carbohydrates are processed to some extent to either improve their state, taste, improve their edibility, or extend their shelf life. But this can often come at a cost of the loss of other nutrients. As we go through this carbohydrate unit, kind of keep in mind the kinds of features that are important for how our body processes carbohydrates. First, is it available? How accessible is the carbohydrate to its digestive enzymes? The, is there an outer shell that needs to be broken through or is it very easily accessible? The second question is how digestible is the carbohydrate? Can its glycosidic linkages be broken? How easily can they be broken? And how accessible are the monosaccharides? And then the third stage is how absorbable are those monosaccharides? The only absorbable unit of a carbohydrate is a monosaccharide and only certain monosaccharides are efficiently absorbed by our gastrointestinal tract. So how quickly the carbohydrate gets broken down into a monosaccharide and how efficiently that monosaccharide can get trafficked into our blood affects how quickly that carbohydrate enters our bloodstream. Take a minute and think about a common food that contains carbohydrates that you eat and think about it across these three dimensions. How available is it? Does it need to have some mechanical digestion? Is it digestible or do you not know yet? Or how absorbable are the individual units?